Recently, I did a video about why you should make your own game engine, and this video is the exact opposite of that. Why you should not, by any means, create a custom game engine from scratch. My name is Guilherme, I'm a senior game developer, I do have a game engine published, which is Cave, and I'm pretty sure that you're gonna learn a lot in this video. So if you are thinking about why you should make a game engine, or thinking about creating your own, watch this until the end before, because that is gonna give you so many new insights when it comes to game engine developer. So let's go to the video. And well, as I said in the beginning, I do have my own game engine, so I may be a little bit biased on what well, goal go ahead and create your game engine, but honestly, due to my experience and especially the professional experience in the industry, I know the pros and the cons and I'd like to tell you all the cons. So if you want to know why you should make one, go watch the other video because this is only about the cons. And the first thing, like, there's a lot of misconceptions actually, and a lot of people that want to make a game engine because of wrong reasons. And if you have wrong reasons to start start making a game engine, your life is gonna be way worse. <laughs> Trust me, it will be. So if you really wanna make game, a game engine, make sure you have the correct reasons and not the ones that I'm gonna mention in this video. So the first very common misconceptions is people are using uh, a game engine, let's say Unity, Unreal or something like that, and they don't know how to make something. Let's say in an online game, they don't know how to make it work, and then they have this in mind that create a game engine only for that will help them to make the game. Well, that's not true by any means. I mean, if you don't know how to do something in a game engine, you will be less likely to know how to do it with no game engine because it only adds an extra layer of problems for you to solve because you're not gonna have to solve only that problem in particular, but you're gonna have thousands of other problems as well that you're gonna have to figure out yourself and that will make your life way harder. So if you are thinking to make a game engine only because like, oh, I wish I had this button, like create online game in one click and one button to make my games and my life way easier. Well, if you wanna create a game engine only to add this button, that's that's not the, the way to go. Like it will not gonna make your life any easier by any means. It will only get worse. and. It's very important, like, if you want to do a specific stuff, like a button to do something, it's better to use an existing game engine and write a tool for it than create an entire game engine from scratch. That doesn't make sense. Like, it's way harder and not a good path to go. The second reason why you should not make a game engine is kind of a paradox, because it's also a reason why you should make a game engine. Uh, well, if you have a game engine, if you are using an existing game engine, well, it limits you somehow in order to make a game in a specific way. Because, of course, a game engine do have a bunch of uh, design decisions and a bunch of abstractions that you can use to make your game. And if you want to make a game with, with using other approaches, other design decisions, well, you kind of can't, depending on the game engine, of course, because you are tied with that specific part in an architecture. And that is a problem, and that's also not a problem, that's why I said it's a paradox. Because many people, uh, including the AAA industry, like the big companies, do create game engines because they want to do stuff uh, the way they think it's good and better for the game. And that makes a lot of sense because every single game is different and do have different requirements, different needs, and a game engine made for a specific game tends to be way better uh, than a generalist game engine. And many people tend to go to game engine development uh, using this argument. They say, okay, I'm not using Unity or Rio or any other game engine because I want to do something very specific to my game because it will be way better than using those big boys. Well, that's true, but that's actually, that's actually false at the same time because it will depend on your experience in the area. And if you are just beginning, you will not do any better making stuff yourself from scratch other than using like a commercial game engine which is way tested, built by many professionals and stuff like that, and with a lot of cool tools and features for you to use. So it really depends on uh, your knowledge. And honestly, if you have this in mind, I mean, should I make a game engine? Well, the chances are that you are not there in terms of knowledge to make a game engine and do it better than the others. So it's better to just 
stick to a custom uh, current game engine in the marketing and you're gonna have a lot of new experience using that. And the final and most important reason why you should not make a game engine is if you only want to make games. I mean, there's a very uh, important difference between make a game, make an engine, and make a game in the game engine. Some people only want to make a game and they hate coding. They hate spending a lot of time doing simple stuff that should be ready to go in their heads. Well, that's completely okay and that may be you. And in this case, game engine development is definitely not for you. If you want to make a game and that's it, just use something that is out there and don't waste your time making a game engine. Of course, if you want to make a game engine, well, you should also try to make a game. I'm going to talk about that in another video regarding how to make a game engine, but if you only make, only want to make a game, do not even try to waste your time making a game engine because you are not going to be making games. <laughs> Most of the time, you are only writing a bunch of code, a bunch of C++ code to do very specific optimizations and very specific new features that every other game engine do have, so it's not the way for you to go. And of course, I could be speaking this all day long with a bunch of different arguments and stuff like that in order to tell you why you should not make a game engine, but I'd like to tell you one by one in the, my Discord server because it's a very cool place that you can hang out and talk a lot about different stuff, game engines and so on. So I'm gonna leave the link in the description. So if you like this video and wanna talk more about this topic, make sure you are in the Discord server because we can talk so much out there. My name is Guilherme, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you want to see the other video on why you should make a game engine or how to make a game engine and I see you in the next time.